cannot impose my personal faith on others, never on a national organization, but I can try to convince the nation of its beauty and its usefulness. That's Gandhi, November 20th, 1924. We have a term for what Gandhi is referring to here. It's the term persuasion versus coercion. Persuasion is infinitely preferable if you can do it, if you have enough time, because in persuasion, you end up with a permanent solution and with a widening relationships, which, as Gandhi felt, and we tend to agree with him, is the purpose of life, actually. Whereas you should only do coercion in an extreme situation when you don't have an option. If somebody is being attacked on the street with weapons, you're not going to stand in front of that person and try to reason with him. You'll do anything possible to thwart that attack. But this is a rare situation. I wish it were a little rarer. But most of us will go through life without ever meeting that situation but we'll be in many, many situations where if we can persuade another person, uh, things can be adjusted amicably. And the key to such persuasion, the key to your being effective, is respect. Always have respect for the other and always know that the person is not the opinion. The more that you accept the person as a fellow creature with that of God in them, as the uh, Quakers would say, the more strongly you can resist what you consider to be their bad programs. <laughs>